All right, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be ranking every Premier League team's home kit for the upcoming season. These are all my opinions, so if you have any other opinions, make sure to go down to the comment section and type in your thoughts, as I always respond, and I'm sure other viewers would like to debate with you as well. So with that out of the way, let's start off with Arsenal, and to say the least, it is a little bit disappointing. Uh, the blue stripes look worse than last year's golden stripes and the red and white looks a bit out of place of sorts and I don't really understand why they replaced the normal Arsenal logo with just the cannon because in my opinion it does look worse and I think the collar also looks quite bad it doesn't really blend properly I think coming off a camp two campaigns where they finished second I think that they should have come out with a kit that's a lot cleaner and overall I'm going to put this in disappointing next up we have Aston Villa and similar to Arsenal it looks a little bit out of place Though I do have to say it does look a little bit better. I think the colours match up a little bit better. But it's pretty much the exact same as Arsenal. So I'm also going to put Aston Villa in disappointing. Next up we have Bournemouth. And for this kit I actually really like it. Anything with gold in it uh, makes it stand out. And makes me enjoy the kit a lot more. I think that the sponsor isn't really the greatest sponsor in the world. But the gold makes it look better. And I think the last decade or so, Bournemouth have been releasing kits which are just stripes with black and red and a bit basic or they'll turn out really bad. And I think Bournemouth have done a really good job with this, with the golden stripes. And yeah, Bournemouth, well done. And for Brentford, the kit looks pretty much the same as last season, I can't lie. I think the black shading with the red and white doesn't really work. I think it's overall it's not actually that bad, but I think the black kind of ruins it in places and overall I think this is a little bit disappointing as well. Now with Brighton's kit I think that it could be a lot better so I will be putting this in disappointing as well but before we move into the next kit I do want to talk a little bit about it. The blue and white stripes kind of cut off um, at the sponsor and it does look a little bit odd. There's also like a faint white line in the blue stripes which I don't really know why it's there. And then the blue stripes also go into the collar, as you might see. And there's just a random piece of yellow on the sides, which people will just not see. So overall, I think Brighton could have done a lot better in this. So that's why I'm putting it in disappointing. Now moving on to my club, Chelsea. And to say the least, this kit is an absolute shocker. Like the whole Chelsea community wants to protest against whoever released this kit. Like, it's awful. Like, I don't know why there's orange there. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't know why the kit looks like a, a messed up pile of water. I don't know what I'm saying, but that's the point. It, it looks ugly. I think it's supposed to be some kind of like blue flame or something, but they've tried to go on creative and they've wanted to stand out. Um, and boy, it does stand out. So yeah, I don't, I don't need to mention it again. It's going straight in absolute shocker. Let's go into the next one. Now for Crystal Palace, it actually looks kind of good, it's kind of clean. They've gone a little bit creative with it. The blue-red stripes with the eagle in it. I think that overall Crystal Palace have done a really good job in this. I think Crystal Palace fans should be pleased with what they've released. And I'm going to be putting this in solid. Next up we have Everton and to be honest, I actually really like this kit. Even though it seem, might seem a little bit plain, the background of the kit looks a little bit weird with the texture and everything but for some reason i like it i think the steak logo has kind of become the norm now even though it's a betting company i think that everyone's used to seeing it on the kits and i think the collar isn't actually that bad i like the stripy um collar that that everton had done here so overall i'm going to put this in solid next up we have fulham and i think straight away i'm going to put this in mid because it, it's literally the definition of mid it's not good it's not bad don't know why there's a red stripe on the side there. Um, it doesn't look good in the matches that Fulham have played. The polo collar kind of looks kind of clean. Again, like I said, it's not really that good and it's not really that bad. So that's why I'm putting them in mid. I'm going straight to the championship. I think Ipswich did really well to get promoted to the Premier League straight away um, at second place. They've actually gone a little bit creative, a little bit rogue. Um, they've gone against the norm a little bit and I think I really like it personally. I think that the thin stripes really stand out and the lining outside of the Ipswich 
uh, badge looks really good. I think that the collar looks really clean as well. So for me personally, I'm actually putting this in clean because I really like it and I think Ipswich has done a really good job. Now for Leicester, this is actually a really big disappointment. It's so plain. Aladas have done a really bad job personally. There's nothing much to say. Like, they've come up from the championship in first place and they've released this. It's not creative at all. It's completely plain and yeah, it, it just doesn't look good basically. So I'm actually going to put this in absolute shocker because it's that basic, that boring, that I just don't even want to see it. That's the thing. Next up we have Liverpool and to be fair to them, they've actually done something a little bit new. I think that the last few seasons Liverpool have gone a little bit basic with red and white, maybe some gold here and there. This year they've actually properly added the gold, the Nike logo and the Liverpool badge. They put some gold down the sides, on the collar as well. I think that the collar actually looks kind of good. And I think the, the main bit of the kit is the lines. I think they, they don't go in one direction. They also go diagonally and horizontally, which kind of works. And overall, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. They've gone a little bit creative and I kind of like it. So I'm gonna put it in the solid tier. Next up, we have Man City and Puma have done another good job because I think one time I saw this in real life and I didn't even realize they, they've released it, right? So I saw someone that I knew wearing it and I was like, oh, that's actually a really good kit. So my, that was my first impressions, right? But obviously seeing it again, it does look a little bit plain and I was kind of basing it off of the collar and the sleeve because I like this kit that I'm wearing right now. I actually really like the collar. I like the little patterns and the designs and the collar and the sleeve. So that's why I actually really like this kit. Much to some of yours dismay, you might not agree, but I actually am going to put this in clean because it's clean in my opinion and I think they've done a really good job for a title holder. Next up we have Man United and I think the new sponsor is really good and uh, I'm not sure whether to put this in solid or mid so for now I think I'm going to put this in solid but I might change it to mid um, later on in the video. Next up we have Newcastle United with the black and white stripes. I think that this is the one good kit that Adidas have done this season. I think you'll see it right now that it's in clean but I am actually putting it in solid, don't worry, alright? Alright, going up to another Adidas kit. Oh my god, I can't have enough of these kits because it's literally just a three lines on the shoulders and it's literally the same thing. But to be fair, it does look alright even though it's a little bit plain. I think that it doesn't look too bad, but I think the sponsor does ruin it. I just don't like that sponsor. And the texture on the kit actually looks kind of good. So I think I'm gonna put it in disappointing because I think it is a little bit plain and I think they could have done a little bit more. And I think the texture just carries it a little bit. Next up we have Southampton and to be fair to them, I actually kind of like this. I think Puma have done a decent job, but it's just red and white stripes pretty much. Now going into our last three, Tottenham Hotspur have actually released a kit which is not just white. It actually looks kind of good. All right, let's 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 get into it. Now as you can see, there's dark blue of sorts on the sleeve and the sides. We've still got the AIA sponsor. I think that the collar is kind of clean with the dark blue. The end of the sleeves with the lines look pretty good as well. Last season they just did a complete white kit and it was just absolutely awful. It was so basic, so boring. They've really improved on this year and I'm going to put this in a clean. Now going on to West Ham and this kit is, I wouldn't say it's an abomination, but it's, it's near that, it's, it's on the edge. First of all, it's really basic. It's literally the same thing over and over again every single year. You've got that maroon brown sort of thing on the shirt and then you've got the light blue on the sleeves. They've gone for some lines on the sleeve and collar. This, the lines on the sleeve and collar are different, first of all. The lines on the collar does not match at all because it looks like they've got a long turtleneck for some reason. It just does not look good. The West Ham badge is the colours are inverted for some stupid reason because it just looks so much worse. Like, you may disagree with me, but I just personally hate this kit. I just don't like it at all. Based on that reasoning, I'm going to put in an absolute shocker. Now, finishing off of some sort of a high, we've got Wolves kit, which is a little bit different. I think it's the only kit in the Premier League to have the club badge in the middle and the sponsor on the side. But in my opinion, actually, it's quite solid and I like the sleeve, I like the collars. Even though it is a little bit plain, I like the sponsor and I like Caligon a lot different to 
every other team in the Premier League. So I'm going to be putting Wolves in solid. Before we end the video, we actually have to choose a best of the best. We've got five teams there. We've got Bournemouth, Man City, Spurs, Ipswich and Newcastle. But Newcastle there should be Crystal Palace, should be the other way around. And of course, I have to pick one to go in there. So out of the five, I think I'm going to pick Bournemouth. Bournemouth because of the golden stripes. It's literally the only reason. I just really like the golden stripes. Anything with gold in it looks so much better. So I'm going to put Bournemouth, give them the benefit of the doubt because the last decade, all their kits have been boring black and red stripes. To be honest, overall this year, the kits have been a bit of a letdown. I think the kit supplies could have done a lot better. You know what, there are some good ones, but this concludes the video. I hope you liked it. Make sure to click the like button down below. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't. But of course, like I said at the start, make sure to comment down your opinions down below because I will respond to them. Don't worry, I will respond. I'm sure some viewers will like the debate with you as well. But with that said, hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good rest of the day and yeah, peace. Thank you.